Hi friends, I am Sunil working as BSNL JE. Welcome to BSNL JE 2016 exam preparation. In this video, I am going to discuss control system topic nothing but Nyquist plot. Nyquist plot. Nyquist method handles systems with time delays with time delays without necessity of approximation without necessity of approximation and so yields exact result about both absolute stability and relative stability both absolute stability and relative stability Nyquist method handles systems with time delays without necessity of approximation so yields exact results about both absolute stability and relative stability what are the absolute stability and relative stability I already explained uh, in the previous classes what is absolute stability it gives only yes or no information that is uh, system is stable or unstable it gives only absolute stability but uh, relative stability what is the relative stability which gives complete information about stability which gives complete information about stability and uh, Nyquist and Bode plots are frequency domain Nyquist and uh, Bode plots are frequency domain and we can also by adding the extra poles and zeros quickly determined by Bode plot quickly determined by Bode plot not Nyquist plot but uh, in the BSN TTA previous paper key they have given uh, Nyquist plot but uh, we can quickly determined by Bode plot only okay and correct that uh, answer and next one encirclement encircled or encirclement mainly used the term encirclement in Nyquist plot what is encircled encircled means a point or region is said to be encircled if it is lies inside the closed path if the, a point is inside the closed, closed path it is encircled it is encircled if it is an outside there is no encircled and the n n is a number of encirclement n is a number of encirclement the uh, if any uh, the direction of this is uh, counter clockwise means n equal to plus 1 n equal to plus 1 <coughs> and uh, the direction is in this uh, clockwise direction n equal to minus 1 n equal to minus 1 here the point is uh, inside this there is no encirclement there is no encirclement that means uh, for this n equal to 0 but a point is in this means there is a encirclement that is any uh, in value equal to and this is uh, for this is uh, the circle is encircled encircled in this above uh, outermost circle the inner circle is encircled that means uh, it is in clockwise direction clockwise direction means n equal to minus 1 minus 1 this uh, below th this uh, circle there is no encirclements there is no circle so that means uh, n value equal to 0 that is uh, no encirclements here for outermost circle there is a one n circle that that's why the n value is minus 1 and uh, my, uh, minus for it is a clockwise direction for this circle there is uh, no encircles that means there is uh, no encirclement means n equal to 0 and what is Nyquist path Nyquist path it enclosed the entire right side of the S plane it enclosed entire right side of the S plane and it should not pass the origin it should not pass through the origin and also imaginary poles and also imaginary poles this is a, a, a pole at origin these are poles at imaginary axis that means uh, it, it enclosed the entire right side of the S plane and it should not pass through the poles of G of S and H of S which are on the imaginary axis which are on the imaginary axis and also at the origin it uh, does not or it should not pass through the poles which are on the imaginary axis and and also uh, uh, poles at origin poles at origin here uh, G of S and H of S is K by S into S plus 1 here the pole is at origin one pole is at origin one pole is at uh, left side of the s plane one pole is origin so that means it does not pass through the 
वन पोल अट दर्जन इयर टू पोल्स अट दर्जन अंड वन टू पोल्स अट द इमेजरी ऐक्सी दट मीन एस स्क्वे प्लस फोर इक्वल जीरो मीन एस इक्वल टू प्लस आर् मैनस टू ई प्लस आर् मैनस टू ई मीन इमेजरी पोल्स इट डज नाट पास इट डज नाट पास थ्रू द इमेजरी पोल्स अंड आलो पोल्स अट दर्जन दिस इज दईक्विस्ट प्लाट नईक्विस्ट प्लाट and coming to the poles and zeros of f of s f of s what is f of s f of s is nothing but 1 plus g of s into h of s f of s is nothing but 1 plus f of s into uh, 1 plus g of s into h of s well, uh, here let g of s equal to some equation that is nothing but k into s plus 3 by s plus 2 s into s plus 2 and h of s equal to 1 what is g of s and h of s g of s and h of s nothing but k uh, k by k into s plus 3 by s s s into s plus 2 that is s of s is 1 means uh, nothing but 1 into g of s is nothing but g of s and uh, let this equation as 1 and what is uh, we have uh, we have let uh, we have f of s is nothing but 1 plus g of s and h of s that is 1 plus g of s and h of s that equal to 1 plus k into s plus 3 by s into s plus 2 and by solving this we can get uh, s into s plus 2 plus k into s plus 3 by s into s plus 2 and make it equation as 2 and closed loop transfer function we know that closed loop transfer function is nothing but g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s find out g of s uh, g of s by this is the g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s then we can get this value and make it equation 3 from 1 2 3 equations from 1 and 2 and 3 equations poles of f of s that is poles of f of s what is the poles of f of s is into s plus 2 that means uh, poles uh, two poles two poles is equal to 0 is one pole is equal to minus 2 is a one pole so total two poles the poles of f of s equal to poles of g of s for poles of, what are the poles of g of s here also 0 and minus 2 poles of f of s are also 0 and minus 2 so poles of f of s is equal to poles of g of s poles of f of s is equal to poles of g of s and also zeros of f of s coming to the zeros zeros are is here uh, making this uh, numerator equal to zero we can get the zero values zeros of f of s are equal to poles of closed loop system poles of closed loop system that is here also uh, zeros are same zeros of f of s is same as poles of closed loop transfer function so zeros of f of s is equal to poles of closed loop system poles of closed loop system these two points are very very important poles of f of s are equal to poles of g of s and h of s and coming to the zeros zeros of f of s are equal to poles of closed loop system and condition for stability what is the condition for stability all the zeros of f of s all the zeros of f of s means poles of closed loop system all the zeros of f of s should lie in the left side of the s plane uh, what is the condition for this nyquist plot very 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 important condition for this nyquist plot is all zeros of f of s should lie in the left half of the s plane should lie in the left half of s plane what are the zeros of f of s means poles of closed loop system poles of closed loop system that is nothing but poles of closed loop system should lie in the left side of s plane um, according to the definition or according to the condition zero of f of s that is f of s is nothing but 1 plus 1 plus g of s into h of s zero of f of s should lie in the left side of the s plane and here n equal to p minus z the formula for n n is nothing but number of n circle means of minus 1 comma j0 and coming to the z what is the z z means number of right side zeros of f of s remember it uh, z is nothing but number of right side zeros of f of s number of right side zeros of f of s uh, right side zeros me zeros of f of s means poles of closed loop system poles of closed loop system so we can uh, also write this z equal to number of right side poles of closed loop system number of right side poles of closed loop system and next to p p is nothing but number of right side poles of f of s 
P is number of right side of uh, poles of F of S. Right side poles of F of S means nothing but poles of G of S. Uh, once again, P is number of right side poles of F of S. Z is number of right side zeros of F of S. And coming to the examples. And coming to the examples. Uh, and uh, once again uh, uh, and one more thing is the condition for stability z must be zero the condition for uh, stability z must to be zero what is z number of right side zeros of f of s number of right side zeros of f of s here z is nothing but number of right side of right side zeros of f of s what is f of s f of s equal to 1 plus j of s into h of s okay that means uh, we know that n equal to p minus z uh, for stability z must be 0 z must be 0 means n equal to p that is a uh, number of n circle means equal to number of right side poles of f of s number of right side poles of f of s and uh, uh, some equations, some J of S and H of S equations and their Nyquist plots and their stability and their stability for first for first one is K by 1 plus ST K by 1 plus ST that means um, here there is no right side poles there is no right side poles so that means uh, no right side uh, poles means P equal to 0 P equal to 0 and also no right side zeros no right side zeros means z equal to 0 that means z equal to 0 means system is stable system is stable and for k for k by s plus s minus 1 s minus 1 means here uh, right side poles right side poles is equal to 1 right side pole is equal to 1 and also here zeros of uh, zeros of uh, f of s f of s that is nothing but here f of s equal to 1 plus g of s into h of s that equal to 1 plus k by s minus 1 that equal to s minus 1 plus k by s minus 1 that means here what are the zeros number of zeros equal to 1 number of zeros equal to 1 number of poles equal to 1 number of zeros equal to 1 number of poles equal to 1 so that is a uh, uh, z is not 0 z equal to not 0 that is it is 1 and n equal to not p so the system is unstable the system is unstable and for k by s into 1 plus st uh, here 1 plus st that means here also here uh, the number of poles in right side right side, it is uh, the there are mainly two poles the two poles are left side only so right side poles of f of s are nothing but zero and here uh, zeros are also zero that means the system is stable for this equation for this equation uh, right side poles are zero and also right side zeros are also zero so the system is stable here s square s square means type uh, two system and the poles are uh, at the origin there are two repeated poles we can uh, repeated poles and uh, from this uh, nyquist plot number of poles poles in the right side are zero but uh, the number of encirclements here the number of encirclements are two two and uh, the number of encirclements are 2 means that is minus 2 so z is not equal to 0 p, z, uh, we know that uh, n equal to p minus z so z equal to 2 and z is not equal to 2 means not equal to 0 means the system is unstable the system is unstable or we can easily find out uh, by using uh, uh, root criteria also that means uh, s square s square means uh, Two poles at the origin are repeated. Two poles at the origin are repeated means the system is unstable. In this way, we can also easily find out. But by using this Nyquist plot, there are uh, total encirclements are uh, two, and the direction is clockwise direction. Clockwise direction means uh, minus two. We know that n equal to p minus z. N equal to p minus z. We know that p zero. Z equal to minus two. That means n equal to that is z equal to 2 z equal to 2 means it is not equal to 0 means system is unstable okay in this way we can easily find out uh, 
system is stability or not stability and next uh, problems the nyquist plot of g of s and h of s which has one right right hand pole and corresponding the system and corresponding the system one right hand side pole means that the system is uh, unstable only the system is unstable only and this is the system and here uh, it has given right side pole right side pole p equal to 1 and the answer kilometers it is a clockwise direction clockwise direction means n equal to minus 1 we know that uh, p equal to n minus j uh, n equal to p minus z and z equal to p minus n p minus n z equal to 2 2 means it is a not equal to 0 means it is an unstable system it is an unstable system and uh, next question g of s is equal to 1 by s minus 1 into s plus 2 into s plus 3 the nyquist plot of uh, g encircles the origin how many times how many times here he has uh, s, equal, s minus 1 into s plus 2 into s plus 3 s minus 1 uh, s minus 1 means uh, it has uh, right, uh, one right side pole it has one right side pole means it encircles once it encircles number of encirclements at the origin are 1 okay and uh, number of uh, encirclements are origin okay okay friends thank you and in next video i will discuss uh, controllers and compensators that is a that will be a last class of control systems okay thank you